Well, good evening, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets end of days trading for Thursday, 15th of December 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Sigma, signals and market updates from leading providers. From, um, you can da certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store at www.tradesigma.com or directly from your uh, phone. Okay, now in terms of uh, the markets, let's look at the numbers. Okay, so we know Asian markets are certainly under pressure overnight, but uh, the uh, European markets are totally ignore that altogether with the FTSE finishing up 0.7%, breaking that 7,000 barrier, DAX finishing up 1%, CAC up 1%, FTSE may put another, up another 2%, IBEX and the stocks all up as well. So certainly impressive trading there. In terms of uh, fundamentals, let's uh, have a look at fundamentals again. Just give you a recap in terms of today's fundamentals. Uh, French PMI is certainly on the weaker side, or sorry, on the stronger side. Uh, German PMI or German uh, data certainly mixed, although there were two uh, threads of info, two pieces of information. The PMI composite and the manufacturing PMI certainly coming out better than expected, than weaker. European data more or less in line and st slightly stronger. Retail sales actually came in in line, but the um, the threat of inflation certainly was there in terms of going forward. But then that was knocked in the head by the BOE who actually stated or certainly downplayed inflation. That's why we had sterling sell-off. Sterling sold off viciously down almost 100, 150 pips at one time. Let's just bring up the chart of sterling. Okay, I know this very well because I was stopped out my FTSE, FTSE trade, as you can see here, you just, uh, just a straightforward collapse on the on sterling, 1.2560 down to 1.2380, although we are retracing and rebouncing at the moment. So. As you can see there, certainly um, uh, a, a, a 1.27 down to 1.24, forming a 300 pip drop in two days. So certainly uh, impressive uh, sell-off on the um, on the actual uh, sterling chart. Uh, not only sterling, you given the fact that we had a uh, signal for uh, further rate hikes, uh, potentially three now in, um, in next year, 2017. You can see the US dollar certainly breaking out as well, which in turn led the euro to collapse. Excuse me. Okay, so euro certainly collapsing here, as you can see on the 60-minute chart. We've had a collapse from 1.065 down to 1.04. Looking at the monthly chart now, I think that's the only chart we can look at at the moment, and you can clearly see that we do have support around this 1.404 region. Now, going to the weekly chart here for you again. This is a key crucial area. Can we hold that support? Can we retrace and force European equities lower? That's the question. Okay. It's, uh, are we actually going towards par parity? If you go towards parity, then you are seeing European equities starting to rise. So certainly problematic. That's probably the best way of explaining it. Okay, certainly problematic, and we'll see exactly which direction the uh, the market will go. Again, currencies are playing a major factor in the actual moves in the market. Now, German DAX. Okay, this is an interesting chart. As you can see, it broke out to new highs again. Okay, intraday. Uh, looking at a weekly chart, you are now into that key resistance zone now. Key resistance zone being 10, 11, 360, 11, 430. So certainly a potential move up to 11, 430 on the cards as well, especially with the Euro USD being under pressure. So bear that in mind. Daily chart at the moment, no real signs of weakness in the daily chart. Again, it was increased volume on the actual buy side, which again, impressive. 60 minute chart at the moment, still again, higher highs and higher lows. So for a trader, it's uh, something they certainly need to exercise caution on. Although there is this channel brewing. So again, this channel certainly needs to be watched carefully for those of you that are trading this. Watch out for the channel, channel and looking for that channel to potentially break on the downside. You are in that upper body of that channel. Or upper uh, part of the channel, sorry, today, should I say. Okay, so in terms of the German DAX, you can see we had a double top in today. We pushed lower. Then we actually broke out to new highs, which was very impressive. We actually broke R3. Again, on the back of that weaker euro down to 1.04. Now, how much of that has actually been factored in? Good question. Okay, good question. So, for now, <clears throat> German DAX certainly is uh, any type of uh, buy signal certainly is holding, as you can see here. Previous resistance equals support. And then it pushes to new highs, which again, like I said, very impressive. Okay, very, very impressive. For now, Any pullback, we'll see support 11.330. If that breaks, then you are going down to 11.275 on the German DAX. So bear that in mind. Now, the MDAX is another um, beast altogether. The MDAX is showing weakness on the DAX, okay? So also a tech all share certainly is showing weakness as well, certainly indicating exhaustion for the NASDAQ itself. So again, certainly some uh, food for thought there, okay? 
In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you folks. Okay, daily chart at the moment not showing any signs of wear and tear. Okay, no signs of wear and tear. Again, it was increased volume on the buy side, so bear that in mind. Uh, going over to the 60 minute chart at the moment, you are testing that upper channel resistance. So, again, bear that in mind. You do have this uh, bullish channel that's in play, but you did put a topping tail towards the close with good volume. So, just bear that in mind. 10 minute chart certainly did show signs of exhaustion, looking like it wants to move lower down to gap fill at 4770. So, watch out there. Okay. Okay, so again, looking for gap fill on the French CAC on the downside, okay? Certainly something to consider, especially if the euro starts to gain traction and starts to move higher. Now, US markets certainly are rolling over towards the close. So again, uh, or in the towards the close of the US session. So again, that certainly is a telltale sign. Let's look at the euro stocks before I move on to the FTSE 100. Just quickly go over the euro stocks here. More or less the same type of uh, scenario, folks, okay? Did, we did actually make new highs, so that certainly is something to be respected. Uh, again, we are testing that pivot R3 resistance. Daily chart really is in no man's land at the moment. But the next potential resistance really is seen at 3300. Whether or not we can get there is another question altogether, especially with the German DAX into resistance. So bear that in mind, okay? Looking at the weekly chart, again, like I said, we're in no man's land. Or oh, yeah. euro stocks at present, certainly in no man's land, okay? Now, in terms of uh, the FTSE 100, let's quickly go over that for you, folks. Uh, FTSE 100, okay? Uh, the weekly chart really is testing that upper body of that red candle. So, again, impressive move. We thrusted through 7,000, okay? Daily chart, at the moment, you are into horizontal resistance, therefore looking for a move lower. Looking at the 60-minute chart, impressive thrust higher. Again, you are looking at resistance in this region at 7,008. Okay, so a lot of horizontal resistance there. Now, if you do retrace, then you are looking at retesting that 6,970 zone on the downside. Okay, 10-minute chart. Again, we broke through pivot R3. We pushed back. We broke higher. Impressive thrust. Okay, to say the least. Very, very impressive thrust. Again, that will be, can be considered a support on the way down. Okay, so again, like I said, it was all about the uh, the euro <clears throat> and the uh, sterling move today. Okay, weaker sterling, weaker euros, thrusting the uh, the actual uh, in indices higher. Okay, so I think that's a, a good summation for today. Uh, in terms of tomorrow, given the fact that the German DAX is now into resistance, and again, a lot will depend on you how U.S. equities close. U.S. equities are actually putting in a bearish pattern now. The ten-minute chart. Uh, if I just go zoom into a 60 minute and give you an insight here, you are looking at H&S formation here. Also with regards to the NASDAQ, certainly showing weakness as well. Let's bring up the NASDAQ 10 minute chart here, looking for a potential sell signal on the downside. So certainly looking to short the NASDAQ later on today as well. So certainly, with, especially with the unfilled gap below at 4880. So bias certainly remains bearish from my understanding and my interpretation. It's whether how the market interprets it. Goodbye now.